Welcome to another video. Today I am going to explain about how to use Postman as an OpenID Connect client. This video is intended for OpenID Connect beginner level users. If you have enough knowledge about OpenID Connect, please check my previous video for using OpenID Connect with Postman, which is in the description area. This video is an extension of that video. To begin with, we need to understand for what purpose we need to use Postman as an OpenID Connect client. One reason is for OpenID Connect learning purpose. If you are learning OpenID Connect, Postman is one of the best tools for doing OpenID Connect related exercises. And the second reason is for testing an OpenID Connect setup. If you are setting up a new identity provider or a client application, you can use Postman for testing that configuration. The third and the main reason is for calling secure APIs from Postman. In order to call secure API endpoints, most of the time you need to have a valid access token. For generating a valid access token via OpenID Connect, you can use Postman. Well, let's make our hands dirty by doing an example. Well, this is the scenario that we are going to implement. As the first step, I am going to connect Postman with an identity provider. Here I, I am using Keyclock as the identity provider. Postman will act as the OpenID Connect client application. Using OpenID Connect authorization code flow, Postman will generate an access token and as the second step, it will call an API in Mugbin. You can see the URL on this diagram. Once this URL is called, Mugbin will create an HTTP response including the details of the HTTP request we sent and it will send it to the Postman application again. That's all about the introduction. Let's implement this setup. Now I am in Keyclock admin console. First I am going to create a client application which will be used by Postman to generate identity or access tokens. If you are using any other identity provider, you can create a client according to those providers. In order to create a client in Keyclock, I visit Clients section. Here I click Create Client. I provide the client name as Postman Client. And click next. I enable client authentication. So this client will be confidential and a secret will be generated for this client. I keep standard flow enable and disable direct access grant type. Standard flow is equivalent to authorization code grant type. I save the client. Yeah, I am not doing any configuration changes. I just put asterisk as a valid redirect URI. So it will allow any redirect URI. Since this is a demonstration, allowing all the URL will not make any impact. Our client ID is Postman client. From the credentials section, we can copy the client secret. And there's one more thing, when we are configuring Postman, we need to provide few URLs. Those are called authorization URL and token URL. Uh, I'll show how to take them from here. For that, you need to go to Realm Settings. Here, by clicking Open ID Endpoint Configuration, you can see a set of URLs. Uh, here, you can see the authorization endpoint and the other one is token endpoint. These URLs will be used to configure at Postman. Now we are done with key clock. Let's move to Postman. Now I'm in Postman window. Here what I'm trying to do is I'm going to make a request to mockbin.com slash request URL. What does this URL do? It will show our request in the response body. I'll send a request and show it. 
right so here you got this particular response uh, in this response contain the details of the our request now i'm going to include an authorization token to this particular request i'm going to authorization section i click authorization types and click on auth 2.0 And here you can see add authorization data to request header. Header prefix is bare. So this is the normal standard header prefix when we are including a token. And now we are going to configure a new token. I am going to add the token name as keyclock token. Grant type is set to authorization code. You can select any other grant type as well based on your client configuration at your identity provider. I keep callback URL empty. If you want to involve your web browser for authorization, then you can select this box. Otherwise, you can keep this form field empty. And after that, you need to put authorization URL and access token URL. I showed how to get these two URLs from key clock. If you are using any other identity provider, you need to get them from those particular identity providers. I am going to add them now. I have already added authorization URL and access token URL. Now here I need to put the client ID. I am using ID of the client I created in key clock which is postman client. And I am going to copy and paste the client secret here. I just pasted the client secret. As a scope, I put open ID. And I keep state as blank. And client authentication send client credentials in body and then I click get new access token okay once I clicked get access token postman opens a new window and in that particular window key clock login page is visible I am going to provide the credentials of an existing user of my key clock identity and access management system there's a username admin and I'm going to use that particular user. I brought password and click sign in. Okay, now it shows authentication complete. Here this particular access token is generated. And I click use token. And now that particular generated access token is added here. With this particular access token, now I send the request again. Now you can see our access token is added as a bearer token into the authorization header. With that, we come to the end of this video. I believe now you have enough knowledge about using Postman as an OpenID Connect client. If you have any question, please put it as a comment. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.